find the points of local maxima, local minima and point of inflection for the given function f of x is equal to x minus 2 raised to 4 multiplied by x plus 1 raised to power of 3. So we start by differentiating f of x here as we have two terms in product we will apply the product rule differentiation. Now we know that derivative of x raised to n is equal to n multiplied by x raised to n minus 1. So applying this formula we get f prime x. Now we can take x minus 2 raised to power 3 and x plus 1 raised to power 2 common and then aggregate the remaining terms. Doing the simplification we get 7x minus 2. Now we will set this derivative equal to 0 to find the critical points which gives us x is equal to 2, x equal to minus 1 and x is equal to 2 over 7. Now we will observe what happens near these critical points, how the sign of f prime x changes. Now here we have three terms, if you observe the second term, it has a power of 2, hence the sign of f prime x will depend only on the first and third terms. Now when x is close to minus 1, from the left hand side we observe that first and third term will have negative sign. Hence, the sign of f prime x will be positive. Similarly, when we approach from the right hand side, the sign of f of x will be again positive as both first and third term are negative. Similarly, when x is close to 2 over 7 and from the left hand side, if we observe again first and third term are negative, giving us a positive sign. But when we approach it from the right hand side, the sign of the third term changes to positive and hence f prime x becomes negative. And then at the last we can check the sign of f prime x when x is equal to close to 2. When we approach from the left hand side we observe that first term is negative and the third term is positive hence the sign is negative. Similarly for the right hand side all the three terms are positive hence the sign of f prime x is positive. Hence from the above table we observe that at x is equal to 2 over 7 the sign changes from positive to negative hence it's a point of local maxima similarly at x equal to 2 the sign changes from negative to positive hence it is a point of local minima and at x equal to minus 1 there is no change in the sign hence it is a point of inflection